Hi everyone, it's Lynn of Makeup and Night and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing another road test review for an eyeliner and this is from Benefit and it's called the Dare Grill Push Up Liner. So if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts and initial verdict about this product, then just keep on watching. Alright, so as mentioned, we will be doing a review on this eyeliner from Benefit. Nakuha ko to sa mismong Benefit store using yung gift certificate na nakuha ko from my salad box subscription. It was a 500 uh, peso GC, but this was for 700 pesos. So I added 200 pesos para makuha tong product na to. Ang shade na nakuha ko is black. I don't know kung ibang may iba pang shades itong gel liner nila na to. But I'm thinking hindi ganun kalaki yung range when it comes to eyeliners. Kasi ang benefit, it's not as playful as other brands pagdating sa mga shades nila. They usually go for the regular shades, I think. Now, this is a travel size, kaya mas maliit siya compared dun sa full size nila. So, yun nga. I've been wanting to test this product since I saw this sa salad box subscription um, ko, pero unfortunately hindi ko to nakuha as included dun sa mga boxes na nakuha ko sa kanila. So, I opt to get it for myself. Now, this is how it looks like inside. Wait, let me open it up. Yan. Ito yung itsura niya sa loob. Ganyan na siya kaliit, guys. Mas maliit pa siya sa mismong hand ko. Alright, so this is really intriguing. Kasi, if you open up this gel liner, so this is basically a gel liner na nasa pencil applicator or pencil type. So, if you look at it closely, makikita nyo na yung kanyang applicator is already slant. So, it kind of helps in creating yung wing line if you're fond of using wing liners or wing liner effects. Yun. Um, anyways, ang claims itong product na to, let me read it on the box. So, it claims to be 24-hour wear. It's much and much proof. And it's also waterproof. So, those are the claims itong liner na to. Excited ako kasi as you guys know, I have oily lids and I opt to using a pencil, cold pencil, and instead of creating wing lines na, I opt to use or do a tight line instead for every day kasi I have oily lids. And if I do put eyeliner on top of my lash line, it just ends up messing my look. So, wala naman ako masyadong, um, anong tawag dito, kasabog pagdating dito sa gel liner na to. Except that yung kanyang applicator is kinda new to me kasi nakaslant na nga siya. And please note, hindi pa siya yung mismong product ha. Yung mismong slant item na yun is more of like the rubber. So, it's, it's sort of like a guide para sa sa'yo. And then, if you twist the product like so, sa below, sa bottom, dun palang lalabas yung mismong product. Ayun. So, I hope you guys can see it though. Let me do a quick swatch. It's really a gel formula, guys. So, a little goes a long, long, long way. So, you have to be careful not to switch or not to take too much product at one go. Kasi super jet black niya, guys. Okay, so I don't know how I will create this, but let me come closer sa camera para makita ninyo. Wow, that's nice. That's a very nice wing effect. Hopefully, magawa ko siya sa kabilang side. Let's try. I challenge you today. I don't know kung pantay siya, but, 
Sige, push na yan. Tama na yan. <laughs> Alright, so I have already put it on my lash or upper lash light. And I exaggerated a little bit para makita nyo yung mismong wing. Kasi I have hooded eyes as you guys can see. And hindi siya ganun kapantay. Pero sige, let's push it. Um, okay, a few things na napansin ko sa kanya. Look at the back of my hand. I have to put the excess products na na-squeeze ng product or na-squeeze ng container or na itong squeezable whatever uh, dun sa mismong dispenser niya kasi it's, it will end up really messy. So, I think there is a learning curve na kailangan yung ma-accomplish bago talaga mo masabing madaling gamitin tong product na to. Um, ideally speaking, yes, mukha siyang madaling gamitin. Pero once you're doing it already, nandun na yung struggle. Lalo na sa pag-dispense ng product, you don't know how much product you need for it to, you know, get that opaqueness. Yung gel formula seems to be really creamy. However, um, pagdating sa part na pag na-dispense na siya, ayun, medyo nahihirapan na ako. Ayan. So, let me try yung... A uh, smudge test. Obviously, it's smudge proof. Wala rin siyang transfer dun sa kabilang hand or finger, which is good. Yung areas naman na isa, hindi ko muna i-smudge yan kasi kalalabas lang yung product na yan. So, let me do quickly yung water test. I have a bottle of water here. Uh, let me spray it on the back of my hand. Sobra-sobra ni water. Alright, so as you can see, wala naman nag, um, anong tawag ito, nag-bleed dun sa mismong product. Let me quickly rub this after the water. Amazing. Walang kahit anong pagbabudge. That's nice. So with this test, I don't think this is something that you can remove by just washing your face. Kasi mukhang, even sa tissue guys, hindi siya sumasama. Ang galing. Ang galing niya guys. No? O ako lang ang nagagalingan. Pero magaling siya para sa akin. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So that looks really promising. So I will just put mascara on my lashes to make it a little more presentable. Pero my face makeup is almost complete. I will leave it as it is, yung ating eyeliner. Um, and let's check the time. It's 8.42 in the morning. So, I will wear this throughout the day and see how it goes. I will check on you guys after a couple of hours to see how the eyeliner is holding up. Hi everyone! I'm back and this is my first check-in for this eyeliner review na ginagawa natin. For benefit, ang oras natin ngayon, wait, it's 12.32 in the afternoon. So, I think it has been like 4 hours since in-apply natin tong eyeliner kaninang umaga. And this is how it looks like. I will zoom in para makita nyo ano yung itsura niya after 4 hours. Alright, so as you guys can see, it seems na hindi siya gumalaw, hindi naghulas. Wala rin akong nakikita ang transfer on my oily leads. And please take note, I am starting to see oiliness going on on my eyelids. Ayan, nandyan siya. Nag-oil up na. Nagpapawis pa. So, that's a good sign kasi hindi nagtatransfer yung product sa eyelids ko. Even though, alam nyo na, hulid ng ating eyelids. Um, also, I can still see yung tail end na sharp pa rin, Which is a good sign. And, walang bleeding na ganap underneath lash line. Alright, so what I will do, just a quick test and see if this is really smudge and budge proof. I will intentionally rub off itong um, tail end, pero I'm not gonna put too much pressure. I'm just literally swiping it and see if it's gonna budge. I don't know if you guys can see, but walang nangyari sa aking pag swipe. There is a slight tint, pero it's very note, it's very manageable and it's tolerable for me. And the fact na intentionally ko siyang ni rub off, ba? So, that's a really good 
indicator for me. So, anyways, what I will do is just to continue wearing itong um, eyeliner na to for a few more hours. So, I will check on you guys after a couple of hours to see how the eyeliner is holding up. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is gonna be my last check-in for this gel liner na nire-review natin for benefit. By the way, ang oras natin ngayon, it's 6.01 in the evening. So, it's roughly around, no, 4 to 5 hours since my last check-in. And this is how the eyeliner looks like. Um, before I zoom in, let me show you guys how it looks on the back of my hand. Dito tayo nag-swatch kanina. And as you guys can see, medyo na worn off na. And please note, I did quite a few um, house chores uh, while doing this review. Uh, Nagbugas ako ng pinggan, nagluto ako, nagpaliko ako kay Clint. Kaya medyo maraming beses nabasa yung hands ko. And I guess I would say na it's a little water resistant. But I guess you don't necessarily, you know, wet your face or your eyes in particular. Um, throughout the day. So, I guess that's um, a different story. Pero let me zoom in para makita nyo anong itsura niya after an additional 4 hours. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see from the camera, pero ayan, may mga transfer na ako nakikita here on this eyelid area and then medyo nag-bleed siya dito sa inner corners ko. Um, medyo nagluha kasi ako kanina, kaya siguro may may uh, Kaya siguro medyo nagalaw niya yung aking eyeliner dyan sa inner corners. And um, also, I noticed the transfer here on this side. So, dalawa sila nag-transfer. Very minimal lang dito sa side na to compared to this one. But my eyelids are already super, super oily. And I think that's basically the reason why. Then, medyo nag-fade na rin yung shade no or yung opacity ng eyeliner here. Maybe because nga, medyo nagtawanan ka, ka. Nagtawanan kasi kami ng sobra-sobra. Nagtawanan kasi kami kanina, kaya medyo nag-luha uh, yung mata ko. And it end up siguro messing up yung eyeliner. But, um, I would say 90% of it is still intact. Yeah. Medyo patchy na yung dating niya. Kasi nga, medyo nagluha-luha ako. I try not to wipe yung tears ko on top of my eyes or eyelids rather um, but yeah it's around 80-85% na on this side na uh, intact pa rin alright so having said those things let me share my final thoughts and reading about this product so let's go ahead and start with the price this cost me 700 pesos and with its performance which I will discuss later I think your price is just right with the performance na binigay nito sa akin Yung amount ng product na makukuha mo dito, again, this is how many nga ba? It's 0.36 grams, which is, sabi na natin medyo konti as expected, but this is a travel size or half of the actual full size ng product na to. Uh, but, yeah, I think medyo konti sa akin yung 0.36 grams for a gel liner. So, I'm expecting a little bit more, but if I ended up liking this, I might just get the full size. Availability, again, Benefit Cosmetics is already available here in the Philippines. However, medyo selective pa lang yung areas or stores or malls na merong benefits. So, um, yeah, you can basically just visit them if you want to. But, but if you don't have access to their actual stores, you can try buying the products from online stores like Sephora, um, Zalora, if I'm not mistaken, is also catering cosmetics. Um, uh, what else? In all online um, retailers na legit na nagbibenta ng ganito product. When it comes to its performance, I would have to say na nasa 60 to 40% ako. 60% okay. Uh, just because there is definitely a learning curve on how to use the pencil or the pen itself. It's not something that you can enjoy immediately upon using. Katulad ng paggamit uh, ng pencil, ng actual gel liner, and uh, an angled brush. 
Um, also, if you're fond of using um, pen type na ano na eyeliners, uh, this one is a little bit tricky compared to those three methods that I've mentioned. But again, with uh, more practice, you would definitely enjoy this. I also like the fact na yung kanyang applicator is sort of like a guide na rin for you, lalo na if you are an avid fan ng angled, um, or wing liners rather. Now, as for its claim na 24 hours, I don't think it does that factor. And you also need to consider kung oily um, eyelids mo or not, kasi for me na may oily lids, in almost or if not every single hour basta tirid ay ako parate I don't think this uh, eyeliner would last for that long period of time siguro okay na sa akin kung tatagal to ng 8 hours which I think na withstand naman yung 8, eight hour time frame ko when it comes to eyeliners and I don't wear makeup for 24 hours anyway so I'm okay with that. I would say na even though na hindi niya na meet up in 24 hours, I am still impressed with the performance na binigay nitong product na to. So having said those things, do I recommend you guys trying this product out? I would definitely say yes. I enjoyed using the product. I enjoyed the idea of um, a gel in a pen, if that even makes sense. Also, enjoy akong gamitin yung kanyang uh, tip applicator kasi talaga nakakatulong siya sa pag-create ng wings. Medyo pricey siya, yes, pero I think it's worth it, I would say. So, hmm, yeah, I think that's about it for this review about this product. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to address them. All the product information that I can gather related to this product will be listed in the info box, so make sure to check it out. But as always, thank you so much for watching everybody, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!